Bishop Charles Martin Wameka was born in 1953 in Budaka district and his dream of serving in church started early. He started his education at Ikiki Primary School. Our father Joseph Odoi, he came to our primary school and we were in the class, he, he came and he asked us what, those who won't be priests, so I put up my hand. But Father Odoi used to come from us in the what in that primary school, and I remember several times he would have lunch at home, and we were the ones preparing, sweeping, washing plates, and also looking at this man now who is a priest and all that kind of thing. What? So when he asked those what those want to become priests, I put up my hand, not really not knowing the details of it, but anyway. So in time to come, we went to Budaka for the interview. And out of, I think it was 13 to 15, 15 young boys, uh, I was among three who were, uh, were taken. So we went to Nagongera Seminary. That was, uh, what, 1964. And I went to P6. He excelled and went to O-level where he says he passed well. Uh, then he was uh, given the chance to go to Uganda Matters uh, College what, for high school, HSC. That was in Alokrum Guru, the present national seminary. What, Alokrum, that's where we were for HSC. He then attended Katigondo National Major Seminary, where he studied philosophy for two years. He was brought to Gaba for a four year theology course in 1978, but had his ordination delayed due to the instability during Idi Amin's regime. Instead of doing, being uh, taking place in uh, December, we ended up what, uh, having the ordinations in, uh, what, in September of 79. Yes, and I was uh, appointed to Kiritoko what, Parish for pastoral work. Then after one year and a half, I was picked to go to Nagongra Seminary to teach in the minor seminary. Bishop Wamika was sent to London to study physics, mathematics and chemistry, which he would later teach as head teacher at Mbale College. Little did he know that he was going to last only a year before he was appointed parish priest in Tororo. And a little bit like said, well, you know, an appointment is an appointment and obedience is obedience. But like, eh, hey, now, man. I swear to do all this mathematics and physics. Now again, I'm in the parish. Now what do I do with all the other things? That? Anyway, education area, forget, just be yourself here. It is from there that he was appointed Bishop of Ginger Diocese. And then now uh, when I'm there, uh, 93, that is when he, what, they landed on me. said, ah, the Holy Father has uh, what, appointed you to be Bishop of Takape. Uh, you know, when you are an auxiliary bishop, you cannot be a bishop of nowhere. So they, they appoint you a bishop of a, a diocese which existed but is no longer. It's like you continue praying for those souls. So I was the bishop of Takape, it is, should be in Italy, Europe somewhere, uh, and then auxiliary of Tororo. At that time, Bishop Odong was a bit sickly, a bit whatever, so it was like a, to assist in the pastoral work in the diocese, whatever. So that was then, the consecration was in 1994. From 94, auxiliary, so men up and down, whatever it is. And then now it came to 2010. That is when now Bishop Uligas retired. And then again, they, they tell me, they said, now I think they were looking for someone to be a bishop here, and it was like, it whatever. And then they said, now ah, we have appointed you bishop of Ginger. So they came here 2010, April 25th. But with the exposure garnered from across the world, he set out to become innovative to join the faithful. What day of the Eucharist one, we had the year of faith, the year of divine mass when the Pope announced about divine mass. We had the year of children, we had the year of people with disabilities, we had the year of uh, the elderly, we had the year of the Holy Spirit after COVID, we said no, Spirit come and renew the face of the year, so we had the year of the Holy Spirit, 
uh, now this year we're having day of the Uganda matters. However, he says most of the faithfuls are young, which has slowed down the pace of growth. Uh, you look at the community. Uh, where you are having 300, 400 children for confirmation, young people for confirmation. If you look at the grown-ups, they are 30. They are, so the majority of our church are these young people. He opted to delegate preparations for Uganda Matters Day to the public to allow for people participation, but he's aware of the need for funds. We also asked him to share some of the memorable experiences of his time in the church. <clears throat> I still remember what... In Adola, I was doing confirmation of the children. And I'd read the prayers properly. So, when I start reading, you are supposed to ask the children, uh, do you believe God the Father, creator of heaven and us? I do. Do you believe Jesus Christ? I do. So, for me, I prepared the thing and I started it. This 1,200 children. So, I'm reading. Iyeyo were maja menije gichwech iporo gipiny. The children are quiet. <laughs> and I'm like, what is the problem? <laughs> Have I said something wrongly? Ah, so I just went ahead with the next thing. No, only later on to, to find out. Instead of, do you believe God the Father, whatever, a question. Mm. I said a statement. <laughs> We ended the interview with a blessing and he retired to his home after our one hour and 45 minutes interaction. Walter Mwesi J, NTV.